All my fellas. All my fellas. All, all my fellas. Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of the Lakeside Viking News. It's Friday, December 8th, 2023. I'm Jonas. And I'm Emiliano. And here are your weekly announcements. We are looking for a volunteer to be our 2024 webmaster and or social media influencer. Training bill provided. If interest, please contact this email here. Thank you for supporting LHS Soccer. Go Vikings! There will be a Lakeside Ultimate Team information meeting for players and parents at 7 p.m. Wednesday, December 13th in the cafeteria. This will help us prepare for the season, which will begin in February. There will be pizza for players, and Coach Fred will discuss the season, expectations, as well as logistics, uniforms, paperwork, volunteer needs, etc. Please plan to attend if possible. I'm Lila, and today I'm going to be interviewing people in the classroom for people who have disabilities. And first, I'm going to be starting off with this teacher, Miss Abby, who is so lovely. So, Ms. Abby, what, what type of stuff do you do in this classroom? We do a lot of fun stuff. We do a lot of games. Um, we're reading the Hunger Games. Um, <laughs> we do life skills stuff like driver's ed. That's so fun. It is fun. And you also teach like math and English and stuff like that too? Yes. And science? All the content areas as well. That's so fun. I remember one time I was in here watching Bill Nye. That was a pretty educational time. I liked it. We love and Bill Magic Nye. School Bus. We love that. Um, and what are your favorite parts about teaching in this classroom? Um, probably the students. All my students are so nice and kind to one another. I love mm. it. <laughs> cool. I love it. So how long have you been teaching, like, overall? Uh, this is my first year. I started my first year of teaching in August. Oh my gosh. Is it going well? Do you like it? It's okay. awesome. I'm having so much fun. I love it. Well, thank you so much. And now, we're gonna go interview some of the students and some of my best friends, so thank you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna interview a few of my favorite people in this class, starting off with, what's your name? Um, your brother Griffin. Yes, my brother Griffin. And what are your favorite things about Lakeside, mm -hmm. or being in this class? Uh, well, it's the only thing, I mean, I cook, I like up, doing out, I eat my hands, and laying my, Okay, so you like watching My Little Pony at school, right? With your friends? Mm-hmm. And you like playing soccer in the field. Mm-hmm. And you like eating food in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And I sing the song. Oh yeah, you like singing the song, the Question Your Girl song? Um, Stick Your Feet song. The Stinky Feet song, right, exactly. Griffin, thank you so much. I'm here with, what's your name? Jamie. Dantasia. Dantasia. And what's, Jamie. What's your name? Jamie. Jamie. This is Jamie. And we're going to ask them some fun questions that I've been asking everyone else. So what is your favorite thing about being at Lakeside? I met, I, like, I love Miss Abby class because, like, we do, like, a lot of things together, like, comic games, look it, like, math, like, you like doing yeah, all the stuff? Yeah. That's so fun. We play Blook It too in a lot of yeah, classes. Yeah, I love that because like, it's the half like, fun game to do. It's a fun it's a fun game and you yeah. get to learn stuff. It's really fun. What's your favorite thing about being mm -hmm. You don't know? Well, I know Jamie's favorite color is yellow, right? Mm -hmm. We love all things yellow. Mm -hmm. And I know she loves playing Uno, right? Mm -hmm. And you like, oh my gosh, do you like all the Squishmallows? Mm -hmm. Which one's your favorite? <gasps> that one, that was pretty cute. That one's yellow, right? I love it. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you want to say? <laughs> oh, and we like the binoculars. <laughs> I need to try them. <laughs> but she, she loves drawing too. <laughs> <laughs> do I look cool? <laughs> All right. You like drawing too? Yes, you do. That's so fun. Well, do you have anything else that you like? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. You are good. I move. Now I'm here with, what's your name? Ethan. Ethan, all right, Ethan. So what are your favorite things about being at Lakeside and being in this class with your friends? The, the kids. The kids, you like hanging out with people? Oh, uh, CNN 10. CNN 10, you guys do watch CNN 10, that's pretty fun. Do you like really? going to the gym and yeah. playing games in there? Yes. What do you like to do in the gym? Play soccer and basketball. Soccer and basketball, those are pretty fun. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. <laughs> All right, so what's your name? Gavin Taylor. Gavin Taylor. And what are your favorite things about being at Lakeside? Uh, and being my in favorite class? things are that I graduated. Oh my gosh. And oh, I, I really liked being in the classroom that I was in. And you should always do um, your best because it's really good to graduate. Yes, graduate, guys. Yeah, graduate. Graduate. <laughs> What were your favorite oh. things? What were your favorite things to do at school at, at Lakeside when um, you were here? Being with my friends in PE. Yeah, PE is fun. My coach, which shout out to Coach Sims. Yep. I love it. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yay. And see you guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this segment. I'm so glad I got to show you some of my favorite kids in the school, and I hope you have a great Christmas break and have fun watching the news. Sing your song. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. You want to know something that really grinds my gears, Colin? What grinds your gears? The music industry is definitely exploitative of black artists, black black rappers oh, especially. Um, and it definitely, a majority of the time, it will try to fit, fit them into a specific mold. Um, they want to make uh, what uh, art, specifically music, mass produced yeah and that's the whole problem yeah because that's not something you can even traditionally do you it's know. popular it sells it yeah. the same thing with like grunge in the 90s it found yeah it's definitely found its way into the mainstream and it appeals as like a vicarious fantasy to a specific group of non-black people who have not experienced the things that their favorite rappers are talking about. There, there's certain negative, like... Connotations, you would say? Yeah, connotations and also like negative side, effect, side effects that come with, you know, music that glorifies street culture and the violence that, you know, exists in it. You wanna know what also grinds my gears, Josh? What grinds your gears, Colin? Cancel culture and specifics. Because it feels like and granted, I do believe there are times where it is warranted, but 99% of the time, it's not. Right. And it's just some person on Twitter getting angry at the most minuscule thing. Yeah. Me personally, when I hear people complain about cancel culture, I don't focus so much on what they're saying personally. I ask them questions to like kind of pick apart their personality because to me personally, I, I've never really seen cancel culture as like a major driving force. I've more or less seen it as like being held accountable for your actions. I think what a lot of people conflate with cancel culture is when popular celebrities are held accountable for actions that they did in the past that are problematic. And, that, and that's fine, right? Yeah. But. I think cancel culture, it, it was originally just in reference to celebrities being stupid, but I think it's ballooned to this whole thing to where um, every little thing is getting canceled, like canceled now. We're gonna, I think we have to cut it short, honestly. I think, we've, I think we've been rambling on about random things for too long. Yeah, we, gotta, we really got to you know, gripe harder. We have to definitely get a, a 10 minute yap session instead of just like a two or three minute one, because that would be peak. Let us know if y'all want us to yap if, for 10 minutes. If y'all just want to see us compl just complain about random topics and just with no sense of direction, I I'm sure Mr. Be Mr. Benningfield would love that. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I, I would love to. Like, I love, I love yapping. Colin makes it very easy to yap. So, yeah. yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you some other time. We're hoping y'all get to see it. We're hoping that y'all enjoy it. Let us know what you think. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Lakeside Viking News. TTYL. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Lift first. Lift first. Next. Next. What's that? You can't What's open that it yet. Oh, shoot. Next. 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 What are you doing? Next. Film it. Film it. He already <laughs> opened. We're here to win. Uh, they're here to lose. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Let's step right in. We got the step by step. Look. Look at this guy. Cheater. Cheater. One. Go. 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 Don't, don't break, break it, it, don't, don't break, break it, it, don't break 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 it, do <laughs> the roof. These are the walls. What's the sticky one? And then this is the other wall. So that's the main wall. Ah, the main wall. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. All over here, so and then I'll hold it all together and put it all going. It's actually coming together here. Okay, no, okay, wait. I, I okay, we're doing this back house. backwards. We need to build the foundation first, so we we'll glue right. it to the cardboard, and then you put the walls on. Oh, oh boy, can we get an update? Oh, uh, oh we're cool. doing the intricate Jack, design. Jack, 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 look at this. Jack, Jack, this <laughs> architectural masterpiece right here. Yeah. No, it's, it's not. There's oh, holes yeah. in your no, house. No, it's not. At least ours is standing up. At least ours is standing up. I'm sorry, right, five minutes starting now. You guys gotta finish. All right, okay. I don't care anymore. I'm putting, like, I'm putting, don't I'm, stop I'm, putting trees on the roof. No. Putting, <laughs> you said you had a whole okay, blueprint. Okay, okay. I did, though. You can put the trees like, around it. As soon as we open the box, it, you have no you know? idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, because I've never. Okay, okay. Is this, I've never this is the front of the house, right? So put the trees like on the side. Don't block the entrance. Yeah. Don't do that! The house looks like it was made by like a okay. schizophrenic patient. <laughs> 12, <laughs> 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's time! What's up guys? We just built the houses and now we need to know which is the winner. We're going to interview random people in the hallways to find out. And the punishment, the punishment for last place is uh, chug a gallon of eggnog and run a mile. All right, so today I'm here with? Jerron. Uh, which one of these houses is better? Team one? Team two? Team three? Three. Three? Three. Okay. Uh, which one is the second best? Second best is one. All right. And two is just last one. Yes, yeah, that's, that's actually all of them. Downs first. Downs first, okay. okay Downs last. Last? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, second. Okay. And then that one's the last. Team one is the worst one. Mm -hmm. yep. Team two is the middle, and then team three is the best one. It's true. I disagree, but it's... Fair, fair judgment, fair judgment. All right, so unfortunately, uh, Team Lipbert <laughs> placed last. So me and Sean here are going to have to drink a cup full of eggnog <laughs> in front of Milo. It's going to be really fun. So, Any thoughts? I'm at a loss for words here. Sean, did we mention that the the loser has to drink go, another go, cup? Go, go.
Come on, Brian, you got this. What do you have to say to the camera? Don't drink eggnog, please. That's all for the news this week. Thank you for watching. This is our last show of 2023. Have a great break, y'all. See you next year!